Millions of kids nationwide are without their normal access to sports and play due to COVID-19. That's why Fox Sports and Good Sports are restoring play for kids and the programs that serve them through donations of brand new sports equipment. Text play to the number on your screen to help keep kids in the game. We got Jordan, LeBron, and Donovan Mitchell in those jerseys. That may be my favorite part about having people back in the about people having back in the seats, Doug Gottlieb, or the kids. Just having We got to get back on the fields and courts, yep. the rinks. It's a great thing the folks at Fox are doing, trying to help these kids out, get the gear they need as we crank back into sports. Well, that man cranked in the first half, and it wasn't the, even the start he wanted. They, they managed to handle him a little bit early on. Three of seven from the floor. Kade's got 10 points, eight rebounds. Sherfield, again, didn't miss a bunch of shots, just didn't have the impact he wanted. He had five points, turned it over five times. Well, one, one note we haven't brought up is that uh, Zane Meek's not playing. A little banged up for Nevada. He started half the year. He's come off the bench. Kind of a stretch four, but a big body. He would match up quite well in the post right now. Yeah, that's nine points a game. That's six rebounds a game in Meeks and what he is able to contribute. But his body type is he's slimmer, but Alfonso Anderson would be matching up with Zane Meeks, whereas now they're having to go small with Trey Coleman, who has been starting, so it's not like this is new, but it, it, they don't have the versatility in their lineup. You and I had a Meeks game on television where he was perfect from the line, 7 of 7, at 19 points at UNLV. He saw the kind of impact he can have. Sherfield trying to have him the second half. This is the first one. English just not there. Credit Marco Anthony. Anthony tried to put some English on that pass in the basketball. So Marco Anthony, of course, he played at Virginia. He's still a defending national champion. And he was just, he's just sitting on that right hand of Grant Sherfield. Try a little bounce pass to Bean. Gets hit off the knee of Trey Coleman. And while he's not a great shooter, he doesn't shoot often, but he's a tremendous defender. The job he's doing on Grand Sherfield, no one in this league has done all year. Wow, Miller up with it. He even wanted a whistle and a foul. He came gingerly out of the locker room. He went into the locker room early, and oh, by the way, just drops a three in. Almost moving rigid. Maybe that's the way to describe how he was warming up. But the shot, the shot looked good. Miller's got six points. Well, a simple set here where Justin Bean comes off the handoff. And watch Miller. He sets a little cross screen for Nemi Keita, comes off the double screen. Cross screen, down screen with the double screen. That's called America's play. It's called the Duke double. Duke used to run it in the 90s, and then everybody ran it. Now everybody doesn't run it, so they don't call it. It's still America's play. Cross screen and a double screen. Warren Washington at the line. So why does it work, Darren? Because you have a quality big guy, and just for a split second, if your shooter sets a screen, his man has to help on Kata, even for a split second. And then you screen the screener. Okay. Offensive rules are screen the screener. Defensive rules are help the helper. You're distracted by the distractions in the back. No, no. No, a little yeah, the AD. I am a I'm rambling, bit. and you I got the little high. yellow ADD working. It's okay. Look, it's a squirrel. Yes, that was just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just was amazed. Is that they same cut that Bean scored in the first half on? I don't know if you noticed, they make an entire Nimi Keita up there. I mean, there's yeah, pieces awesome. and parts it's everywhere. Well, when it's all together, Here's that action, right? They X off the high post, give it to Kata. On cross screen, double down. Not even great screening action, although Justin Bean set an excellent screen. And you got an awesome shooter. First three throw play. dropped in. So if you see cross screen and then a double down screen coming. That's America's play. A nice little, uh, little set camera up there to do some work tonight. I'm enjoying it. Jealous of Justin Bean's hair. Yeah. Moore, Oklahoma. He's kind of got that Macklemore, Duncan Robinson fade with a lot of nice cabbage up top. Yeah, that's, that's professional hair. That's NBA all-star hair. 
Sherfield penetrates, dumps it into the corner. Nice job defensively. Here comes Beam. Picks a pocket to Anthony out front. It's Anthony. Waits just a moment. Up and under. Marco. Anthony. Marco. Anthony. Two points. 48-27. That it just, it has not been their stride. It has not been their night. What an interesting little number as Cambridge pretty shot in the paint. What sums up Utah State a bit tonight anyway, part of the story, they've got 17 makes, 15 assists. Wow. The answer was there that time. Anderson got a little bit too much deep. A little bit too deep. There's an assist and a triple, and they hope for Coleman, who's got seven, to move in the right direction. Well, the assists at, to field goal totals are important because, in all honesty, there's there isn't anyone on this team good enough to do it on his own outside of maybe Kata. But if you play five as one, you can beat anybody. This team plays as well as anybody that way. Miller with the three. And, and I mean, look, he, he got hobbled in the first half, and he, it's not like he's a great mover to begin with. But, man, this guy, can, this cat can shoot. He's got nine points. He's three of nine from distance in his 20 minutes of work, Brock Miller. Cambridge, mm. answer. I mean, now, now Nevada's starting to get some buckets. They just need to get some stops. I'd say that's the biggest issue is they would probably like to the pressure. They just don't have the juice. That's not how they're constructed. Nevada for the last five from the floor. That's a good one. Sherfield with a smart play. Now Grant Sherfield's been struggling with his own offense. But the transition game, how about this one from Mark Anthony? So easy. And then Sherfield just finding Coleman. So Nevada started to get a little offensive rhythm. Two Desmond Cambridge buckets, one a three, a three from Trey Coleman. Let's see if they can cut this thing even further. This is called Cowboy Series. Double pin downs on each side. Let on the bucket for Cambridge, he comes up empty. Why is it called Cowboys? Anderson with the triple. He's got 10. A couple of rebounds, couple of assists with Anderson. Uh, that one dropped in there. Now, now it's become Pleasantville. Doug, why is it called Cowboy Series? I'll, I'll, I'll explain next time they run it. But, ba okay. but basically, it's an offense invented by the late great Mr. Iba, Henry Iba. I figured that's where they you were. They were the Aggies back then. I mean, Justin B. This is like Pleasantville when it was black and white. You guys remember Pleasantville? <laughs> Just make, 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 make. Everybody's making. Bean's got 14. He's got eight rebounds. He's got three steals, three assists. Going up the score sheet. Kata. to go to the line for three. I do feel a little bit like Oprah watching this thing, right? And you get a three. And you get a three. And and you get a three, Justin Bean. 18% of the year doesn't matter. And you get a three. 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 Get a three. Everybody gets threes. Sunday, the best season ever continues as a NASCAR Cup Series heads to Homestead Miami Speedway. It's the Ditsky Vodka 400. Dixie Vodka brings it to you. See who rises up and takes the crown at the season's first mile and a half track. All the action starts Sunday at 3.30 Eastern on Fox and everywhere on the Fox Sports app, the Dixie Vodka 400. I don't know how you get any more excited than the Daytona 500 on Fox. So that was crash on the last lap. Unbelievable. There's Nevada's resume. They did beat Boise twice this year, right? So, I mean, like, and Boise could still win this league if they win tomorrow at Viejas. 
I, I don't think this is a year where Nevada goes to the tournament, and I'm guessing there's probably not going to be an NIT. I mean, that hasn't been announced yet. But it doesn't mean the future isn't super bright. That's a lot to be excited about for Steve Alford's team. I mean, a lot. And if you're just joining us, just to remind you again, they went on a nice little run. They beat UNLV a couple of times. They beat Boise State a couple of times. And then it was shut down city, the trip to San Jose State, and then Colorado State all gone. That's two weeks this young team has just watched. Right, with the San Jose games, I mean, those are two wins, right? Yep. They're two wins, and then the Colorado State games are two opportunities against two of the top four teams in the league. Yeah, net rating bumpers. Yeah. For sure. Tata. Swatted away by Washington right there Johnny on the spot nice play by Warren Of course Bean grabs a rebound. He's on his way to a double-double That's 14 with nine boards Gets it to Kata then gets to work He wants another shot at that man who swatted it away came up short two great defensive stands by Washington Great job by Washington, but he is exhausted guarding Nima Kata Sure feel a little dumb pass somehow pass. through the keyhole. My goodness. That's a gutsy pass. Himes takes advantage. Well, it's interesting that, that Himes, Himes and Washington playing together, they've done this a bunch this year, but have, they worked away from it over about the past 10 games. All right, here we go again. How about that pass? How about that pass? Max Schulte, you're welcome, says Kata. Warren Washington is so tired right now. It's like, man, this guy is unbelievable how hard he works. Big man passing, love it. Kata does it very well. Well, they're battling again. He is exhausted. Good, good get by you, Doug. That one adjusted. Swatted away by Anthony. Washington with the, the mouth agape right now. Yeah. And he's playing well on defense. No, no doubt. But he just can't play offense because of it. Here we go again. Now he's just too low underneath the basket. <laughs> and another opportunity. Passing bigs. Sharing the basketball. This is what makes him special. First, let's see Sherfield. Beautiful little pocket pass. Finds his big man. And then Nemi Keda. You cut, I'll find you. Again, Nevada, ball watching. Hey, we saw that in the first half, didn't we? We did, we did. If you're not a shooter, be a cutter. Steven Ashworth is in. Trevin Dorius is in. And with the big seven-footer. A hockey sub before the 12-minute timeout. It was a line change, wasn't it? Bean, have a night. 17, three of four. Mr. Bean from distance. Now, just a quick reminder: five of 29 coming in. It's a low shot. He shoots it from his midsection. And he answers defensively. It's a key minutes for the seven-footer. You see Dorius getting some key court time. Hines. That's that touch you talked about. Part of his game. Yeah. The the Phoenix product, can, he can shoot that basketball. And he smartly didn't take the first one, had better rhythm than the second one. So see that graphic? Nine makes combined from distance, nine of 11. There's another one. Come on. Oh, he checked from Justin Bean. Justin Bean, Moore, Oklahoma. Known for mopping up the court with his knees and his body, getting loose balls, but today, He's Steph Curry. <laughs> Have yourself a night. Wonderful moment for Grant Sherfield. Doug Gottlieb, you were one of the men on the microphone February 5th. Uh, this is great. Grant Sherfield going right, fade away. Fakes going left. Gets a bucket over Ray J. And uh, that was a huge, one of two huge wins for the Wolfpack. And I think COVID is really hurt their rhythm and their conditioning. But this guy has a bright, bright future in Reno and beyond. We'll take a look at Nevada's upcoming schedule, Sut. Yeah, we lost all those games, came in winners of four in a row, so it's 
the wrap up, then the makeup. San Jose State and then Colorado State, then the Mountain West Tournament. You need to go a positive step into that tournament, win those last two, and that'll definitely help the mojo just a bit. Steep games. Let's give us some games. Let's see how they finish in this one down 16. About 11 and a half to the final buzzer blows. Sherfield goes left all the way. Pinned by Bean. The old basketball wedgie. Alternating possession on the jump ball, Nevada basketball. Uh, Sherfield definitely frustrated. Two of seven from the field now. Five turnovers, does have four assists. He does so much so well. Oh, rebound! Oh, in and out. Oh, I mean, goodness. it's that close to a highlight play where Justin Bean fell down. Ashworth cut right back to Bean. Career high is 24. He's got 19. Now Justin Bean gets the bucket, but Trevin Dorius cleared the way. And Dorius, as we talked about, earning some of those minutes. Trevin, the sophomore, Wasatch High School, Heber City, Utah. And watch Trevin step in. You can set a screen without having to move. Just post up, hold your position, turn, clear the runway. Trevin's look, though, with the black sneakers, that is, I mean, he is, he's got the old school Utah State look going. I mean, that was straight bodyguard, wasn't it? Yeah. That's some, those are some nice instincts when you see a play like that. That's well, taught. Here we go. He goes to work, gets his chance. Foot slips a bit. All kinds of folks in front of him and all kinds of arms. And a nice job defensively by Himes. Gets the blood flowing just a little bit now. Now, I want to point out, these are good kicks, right? These are the, um, the Greek Freak 2s that he's wearing. And those, are, and those are some big dogs he's got, right? He's a big, he has a big dude. But I just, one, I'm kind of anti-black sneakers. It makes you look slower, especially with white uniforms. And then two, I mean, when you're that big, I mean, he's kind of got the Kevin McHale look going, which is okay with Kevin McHale an all-timer. But watch Justin Bean with the white sneakers, and then watch... Watch Trevin Dorius with the black sneakers, and it's just like an optical thing. There's Bean. You know, Bean looks like a flash. It's all optics, though. It's optics, and... Harris came in. Job well done. Shoga, Anderson, Kata. Gonna get text on his phone. They're talking about your shoes. Oh, come on. The seven footer. Speaking of down. shoes, that guy can buy some new shoes. He just got a, an extension and a bump. Coach is dressing casual this year, so most of the shoes we're seeing are the sneakers of the partners. Uh, not a chance to get those Oxfords on with this suit. That one just taken away. A little high stepping coming down the court by Cambridge. Washington. Kata there defensively. As Miller has some vision up court. Under 10 to go in this one. Doug Gottlieb, Darren Sutton, glad to have you with us tonight. Hope you guys all had a good week wherever you find us. Ashworth elevates quickly. It was almost too close. Back him up. He'll be better then. Ah, missed that time. Great hustle. Both athletes fight for that 50-50. Both teams, great hustle that time. Kudos. Just good hoop. Although, we'll put, watch Alfonso Anderson got away with a push on K. Milling. Watch this. Whoop. His little elbow in. But after that, Trey Coleman just getting after the basketball. Like the best thing is, there's nothing, nothing dirty. Yeah, that's a push on Alfonso. But. Drinks spilling everywhere. But nothing dirty, nothing after the whistle, just 
Two kids playing hard. Jeff Grammer just broke the story from the Albuquerque Journal that Paul Weir is going to be let go by the University of New Mexico. Paul's a good guy. Obviously, a really, really tough year for the Lobos who didn't get to play and in the have state. A home. No, in, Lub in Lubbock, Texas, and St. George, Utah. Right. So they're 317 miles away training. But uh, that is that job. When when this league is right, is when San Diego State, New Mexico, and UNLV are rolling. And then you throw in Wyoming with the crowd that they bring to Thomas and Mac. And now you got Utah State rolling, Colorado State back, San Diego State's back. UNLV is close. If this league gets New Me the right guy at New Mexico, oh, what a league it's going to be. What a plum job that is. It's a, it's a tough job because well, it's, it's, well, it's the only job in it's the biggest job in the state, that New Mexico State. But great facilities, unbelievable fan support, and tremendous history. Anderson dumps it into Kate. A nice job. Cambridge anticipating, knocks it away. Now he's high stepping up the court. Breaks free and a miss. Washington right behind him. He'll go to the line. Utah State is big. They are a big team, and everything they do is based around you know, playing within kind of their skill set. Now, Nemi's really the only one, and Trevin, we pointed out, plays. That's a big dude right there. But they have a ton of size in the front line, and really, you got three seven-footers. But also, their guards are big. It's just a big basketball team. This is a team that should they find their way in, should they go on a Gottlieb run, as he was talking about. But I don't even think it's an otherworldly run, right? I mean, it's just not going to be fun to play, I guess, is my point. I mean, this guy is an easily pull an upset. Again, if you're not a shooter, be a cutter. And Max Shuga, he has two layups on cuts, and now he gets two free throws on cuts. I guess it was Kate Millen, because Desmond Kate spiked that thing like a volleyball player. Shulga drops in the first. You're talking about the impact he was able to have a little bit in the first half. He's got seven points now. Now he's got some he's got some kind of classic Kobe's. Those are big time. Those are among the most comfortable shoes you can get. They are kind of bumblebee colors. You can wear those Kobe's. Everybody's like, man, those are nice shoes. You better play good. You can oh, he's playing well. No, he's playing great. Just saying, if you're going to wear bright yellow shoes with white, white and blue uniforms, you better hoop. That's a thing, huh? Yeah. That's, a, that's old school. Well, it's like nuclear loose, right? You can have dirty shower shoes in the show, you're, or in the, in the minors, you're, you're clever, right? Cambridge with the bucket. You have them in the bigs and you're a slob. Shoes, not busy with those shoes. Too many steps with those shoes. He is a tremendous athlete. Yes, he is. No, they're only down 13 now. Like this thing has been stabilized. It was bad. It was. It was start, runaway bad. Right? It was start the bus. Let's go back and grab a diet coke and watch the film and figure it out for for Sunday. Bad. They've stabilized a little bit. They're like two, buck uh, two buckets and two stops away from making this thing a game. Is that a bucket? It's off the mark. Shoga, by the way, seven points. That's a career high in those good-looking shoes. As he has the ball, turns it over. Well, there's your stop you needed. And now can you answer? So plenty of time, 7.30. Australian Foster, 20 in that Navy jersey, earning some playing time. Washington had the line drive at home. They just feel like they can't get a call. They keep getting the steal, though. They're making plays. Got to make buckets. Utah State, one of their last five from the floor. This is a, a humble 6-1 run for Nevada. This is the guy up with it quickly. Short. They have done as good a job as keeping keeping him to his left hand as anybody all year. 
Dean with the miss. Anthony can't grab it. Cambridge elevates. That one rings out. They foul on Washington. Three straight stops and four straight misses. Nevada just frustrated. Aggies will do that to you. Darren and Doug, glad to have you back. It is a double-double, close to a career night for Justin Bean. Justin Bean does everything. He, he's an amateur singer. He plays the ukulele, speaks multiple languages, and he's Mr. Bean. He's Mr. Bean. He is indefatigable. He does not tire to play in defense and rebounding, and he's been rewarded with open looks, and he's making them pay. They are daring him to shoot. He has taken that dare. As we were talking about that career high, he's chasing it now, and it's likely he could get there when you look back on a successful career for this man. Three times he scored 20 or more points, but it was last season at St. Mary's in a loss, so this one will feel better. This is going to be a win, he hopes. He went for 24 and 10 at St. Mary's for his career best game. I still go back to that highlight, though. The splits, we showed it to you a moment ago. That spoke to the fact that as Doug Gottlieb shared with us, hot yoga, a big part of his breath. I have yet to be able to confirm that. I, that's, that's non confirmed. Made up on the fly. Just saying, I'm a, I'm a fan, I do it. I'm sure Justin Bean probably does as well. That one's Tate Steele from Desmond. Again, another chance. Gave it up at the last moment, and a chance to go to the line. And you're saying the splits, you did the splits. I don't think it was that much of the splits. Let's see, here's the play. Foot slipped. There's some dexterity there. Crazy dexterity. I mean, it's not like splits, he wasn't, it wasn't like he was Cirque du Soleil. Kind of back a little bit. Were you flexible? What do you think? No. A I was like the least college pitcher. I know. I was like the least flexible guy. A bad minor league pitcher at that. Six five. No, thank you. No flexibility here. Was your dad flexible? Yes. And your dad was an all-time great. Yes. Maybe you should have stressed more. I know I should have. They didn't have hot yoga in the eighties, so. Did he load up the baseball at the end? At the end? Yeah. At like the, the end? Like at the whole time? Just leave it at that. Okay. Old school, I love it. Miller up with it at the free throw line. Just talking about my dad, the late Don Sutton, who recently passed. Always fun to come to buildings like this when folks will remember my dad and what he accomplished as an athlete. That with the help of Crisco, you know? Well, Crisco, a little sandpaper. He made it clear he had his most infamous or famous quote however you view it he said i do not put any foreign substances at all in the baseball everything i use is made right here in america <laughs> Kato, Kato will go to the line oh, a great one. awesome white guy afro too i just got to point out like the curls were tight it was dick for sace kind of thing i got you pops Nemi, Nemi Kato. Oh, he's great and a great broadcaster as well and braves hall of famer as a broadcaster Kata at the line. And this is where his game is going to have to, it's going to have to continue to improve the shooting. He, he has this, look, Pete Carrill, the legendary coach at Princeton, he calls guys light bulbs. You, know, you, want, you want light bulbs in the guys that light up every room. And they have it in many Kata. And you are who your best player is. And when your best player is just a joy to be around, so will your team. See the free throws for both teams. 20 combined, sharing of the basketball, and closed by Himes, the sophomore. Hammers that one home. This thing is not nope. over yet. 15, by the way, for Himes. 15 with four rebounds. Cambridge has 17. Wasted a bunch of stops, though. Yeah, they did. Utah State's going to get it going at some point. Well, that's a tough whistle. 
Time turns the whistle. Well, here's Sherfield driving, finding Cambridge, and Cambridge finding Himes. Those passes have been open. They've just struggled to catch and finish. Craig Neal, of course, we talked about New Mexico coming open. You have two former New Mexico head coaches sitting over on the Nevada bench. <laughs> Craig played at Georgia Tech. Josh Pastner, who's a close friend of mine for the last 30 years, Georgia Tech head coach at 11 ACC teams. Name them, Josh. Should be in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> Tis the season to shill for your conference. I love Josh, but you can't say too silly of stuff. Because then we just roll our eyes and move on. Boom! Oh, three monstrous for Cambridge. Wow, he's got 20 points. And and we were we were in blowout mode. We were talking about shoes and it is single digits. Desmond Cambridge. Bang! Craig Smith seen enough. Timeout. Aggies. About 1,600 fans in the building tonight. Good to see the student body supporting college basketball. And, of course, on Fox Sports 1, Mountain West basketball. This conference representing tonight. And then you take a look at what Mike DeCourcy thinks. Next four out, Utah State. Part of that, Boise State, San Diego State, 8, 9, and 12 seats. Well, this is great opportunities for Colorado State to beat uh, I think a very good Nevada team and you know what they're supposed to do is take into account what it was your team like in terms of personnel during these games and it, it, what is the personnel going into the tournament and I gotta tell you you don't have Raleigh Worcester you're not as good a basketball team they lose twice to Boise I think if they win out in this regular season that would be tonight they could close this up they'd have to beat Nevada again on FS1 on Sunday uh, then they need two more wins, Wyoming at home and Fresno on the road. You get to at least the semifinals in Vegas, and my guess would be they'll get in because so many other teams will take L's, multiple L's between now and then. Dumped underneath to Anderson, trying to get it to Kidd, it wasn't there. They got a five on four. They hurry. Shogun, nice job defensively. Really nice job stepping up with Cambridge. You can tell he relished the opportunity. Well, part of it is Kate is sitting back there waiting. But part of it is very good on-ball defense, as you pointed out, son. Sherfield, is there a big shot for him? Not that time. They just won't let him get to that right hand. Two of ten from the floor. Five turnovers, five points. 31 minutes, he's played more than any other Wolfpack member. Kata. All kinds of bodies hanging on him, shoving him, pushing him. He'll go to the line. And they're just clearing out and throwing it in the post and say, go ahead, big fella, eat. Four on Himes. And Emmy Kata, just an ISO. And going to work in there. And Himes is so slight, so slender. Kata is really laterally athletic. That's a good look for his free throw. Brock Miller comes back to work. He's been nursing his back all night long, but he's had a couple of big shots. He actually had a old, old, like a old man heating pad. That's it did. It looked, it like. looked like a. He had kind of that back brace, like the guy at the Home Depot puts on before he goes up to go get your, yeah. uh, go pick up your washer. He's moving like that, too. We've all been there. We've all had our backs betrayed. There's probably an Epsom salts bath, bath at some point in this future. Four minutes to go in this one. It's an 11-point home team lead. Look at him sitting on his right hand. Gets to the right. It was there waiting. Look at Miller bat back and all. Sherfield. There's your money shot. They've been waiting, and there it is. And he was not going to stop attempting. The thing about Grant is he do still doesn't get rushed. Doesn't freak out. He's been upset that he's not playing as well. They're not playing as well. But it's not like he speeds up like so many young players do. And another steal on a post pass. 
Boy, it's, it's been a sloppy six minutes for Utah State. Sherfield again off the mark to the left. Aggies one of their last eight from the floor, one of eight. Ashworth slows things down, the talented freshman. Ball's going inside to Kada. And a foul's going to be on Kada. No? Well, Grant Sherfield can hoop. He hasn't been hitting him today. If you don't, if you dare him, he will make you pay. shoulders above the rest. Yeah, look at Kevin most... from the office behind him. <laughs> good call by you. Hey, by the way, one of the best defenders in the country. He's been good all around tonight. And, and these are not fouls. You know, he, does, he walks into you a little bit, which you call for a foul, but for the most part, it's not just the ability to block shots and chain shots. Can you do it without fouling? And then at the offensive end, continued improvement. And just a quick update, too, what he's coming off of. You see what he has done tonight, tying a season high with 16 boards. He's coming off in those two games against Boise State, 62 points and 21 rebounds. Again, 62 points. They gave him an opportunity. He shot it 40 times in those two games. Feed him till he burps. He did a lot. And the Amos is at the line. We've got an eight-point game. Kate is eight of ten from the free throw line. Which, by the way, is a great sign. Yep. As he misses that one. Ball spins a little funky at times. This little side spin, almost like curveball going. Big sec sec. from Robbie Robinson. Robbie Robinson, little used, back up. San Diego, JC, transfer. He did a great job of not letting Kata get the ball. Marco Anthony drives in, got his own offense rebound, but then it was swiped away. Sherfield looks to go to work. Into the corner it goes. Up and under, beautiful pass to Robinson with the bucket underneath the basket. Robbie Robinson with a huge basket. It's a two-point game. And how about the patience of a sophomore in Sherfield and then Foster. Foster sees Kata, quick little pass, and there's Robinson with the finish. Now the good thing for the 
good thing for Nevada is... Nevada is Kata, who's an okay free throw shooter, started out shooting it great, didn't shoot it, hasn't shot it perfectly as of late. He's going to likely remain in the game because he's Nemi Kata. So I, I would I would all out press, try and get a turnover here in the backcourt, and then you get in the front court and you're gonna have to lengthen the game. Marco Anthony, not a good free throw shooter at 62 percent. Uh, Kada's 63 percent. Everybody else, you don't want to foul. Brock Miller's kind of a surprising 72 percent, but I almost feel like it's because he takes so few. And this is again where they miss their point guard, Raleigh Wor Worcester. The freshman from Missoula is an 89% free throw shooter. Thanks. An absolute stud against full court pressure. Thanks for hanging with us while we battle through a snowstorm up here with regard to our satellite transmission. We understand we are back in your homes and on your devices. That's a good thing. This is like, crazy. Wait, like, wait, this is I crazy. had the picture. They were up 20. I, the picture comes back on, and they're up two. What happened, Darren? Is it snowing in the building? Yeah. Is that what's going on? <laughs> It's a two-point lead for Utah State in a must-win game. Should they want to play deep into March? You don't want to foul Ashworth. He is a great free throw shooter. But his lack of size, if you get him in a corner, now all of a sudden you can make it really hairy on. You're going you're gonna to pressure and trap until midcourt, and then after midcourt, you probably want to do the best you can try and foul Marco Anthony or Nemi Kata. To Doug's point, 90% free throw shooter. 90. You got to know who you're guarding, who you want to foul. Time score situation. Anthony, plenty of time, take it away. Still take it away. And Craig Smith saved him. Now, look, in the places you don't want to catch a basketball, okay, you don't want to catch a basketball. That is the primary place you don't want to catch it. How many defenders do you have on him, Darren Sutton? Well, there's two there and a third. No, there's four. He has the sideline. He has the baseline. Yeah, good point. You can't move backwards. You can't move sideways. Can we see that one more time, guys, so we can see if, if, he, has, if he has a point, if there was a travel? And Marco Anthony, of course, playing the national championship game. Does he move the right foot? He does not move the right foot, does not move the right foot. That is absolutely not a travel. Great job, guys, in the truck. We got a snow squall outside, and they're still getting us rolling Elvis. <laughs> nice job by you, by the way, <laughs> mentioning technology. That is well done by you. By the way, if you're all for absolutely you lobby for that. You do everything you can to sell that. Hey, well, the other thing you're, you're, you're yelling is, you know, no foul, no foul, no hands, no hands, because it will actually encourage the ref to think you're not fouling. Marco Anthony did not look confident against that full court pressure. Greg Smith pulled his team together. Let's see what he has as an answer now. Remember, he cannot run the baseline when you call a timeout. And look at Craig Neal. He's saying the timeout was taken over there. That's where it needs to be an odd angle inbounds. He is right. Boy, buried deep in the corner. Good catch by you, too, Doug. Buried his beam. Ashworth's going to try and pop free and get that basketball. He does. He is streaking. He's waiting for that whistle, and he gets a firm foul. 90% free throw shooter. And the lone peak alum comes and catches, and Porter just a second slow. One. Now, if you're Nevada, you don't need a three. Let's see, we can, 23 seconds, we can play this game again. I would I would bring Kata out on the court, set a ball screen, thinking they're going to play for a three and try and get to the rim. Okay. 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 Shooter's touch at home. Wow. Ball does, clock doesn't start till he touches. There's Kata at the high post. Nothing there for Sherfield. Anthony, great shot, Miller. As that one slips away, Miller will go to the line. Now, they tried to run. They tried to run the little curl back. 
It's called nail. And just too much ball pressure and too small a passing angle. So if you throw it to the weak side corner, you set a flare screen, that's called hammer. And when you bring the guy back, it's called nail. They tried to run the nail, they didn't run it effectively. And Miller, who's kind of a, a sneaky average free throw shooter, misses. Doesn't go to the line a ton, shoots it all the time. An active shooter, about 70%, 13 of only 18. 18 trips to the line all year. Now you gotta get a three with 10 seconds. Just go take that. Sherfield looks for it. Nearly traveled. Three point bucket. That one right away. Foul right, right away. Foster. No foul right away. No foul. Anthony. Which well, Trey Coleman's like, I, I don't want to foul. I got fouls. Like, no, dude. We got 3.9 seconds. You got foul. Whoever you get. Two point game. So watch, it's 3.9. You got to, again, click in as a freshman, Trey Coleman. Okay, we want to deny, and as soon as they catch it, foul. A rare miss. I mean, a rare miss. All right, now, 2.5, I don't think you foul, except you could foul if he misses on a rebound, but that wouldn't be smart because it's only a two-point game. You want to make this one. 2.5 seconds to go. You know, you should have a play. There should be a, whether it's Pacer or bring Sherfield off a, off a screen. 2.5, you got times for two dribbles. Vistanovich comes on as well for Nevada. A couple of dribbles, time is disappearing. Oh! It was on line. Oh. On line. Utah State holds on in front of about 1,600 fans. They're victorious. Uh, credit Nemi Kato with pressure the ball and out fouling. And Desmond Cambridge. Wow. Wow. You can't get much closer to making it than that one. And 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 Utah State was about as good defensively as you could be for 34 minutes. And then Nevada's like, you know what? Let's just start hooping. And they made this thing a game. And guess what? They're running it back. They were played in the gym. Had a good game. Run it back. They're running it back on Fox Sports 1 Sunday afternoon. A series of must-wins starts with a win. They've got to beat Nevada again. They've got to beat Wyoming. They've got to go to Fresno State and be victorious. Isn't that a wonderful sound, folks? That's human beings cheering for the home team. Love our Fox Sports 1 production crew. They have braved the snow, the sleet, and the ice up here in Logan, Utah. Love calling basketball games with that man. He's Doug Gottlieb. And my name is Darren Sutton. On behalf of both of these schools as well, and Fox Sports 1, be safe out there if you're up in this area. A victory, a big victory. They win by three. We'll see you next time on campus where there's fans. That's right. Good night, everyone.